Coburn Bible, Book 6, Book of Morals and Precepts, Chapter 34, Truth. Much of the book is to develop your moral code. Avoid using it to judge others. NPR 3413. The best truth men can ever have to judge is truth parent. For truth and actuality cannot be manifested to men on earth. And then with regard to truth and falsehood, do they not appear alike in things beyond our understanding? How then could we decide between them, or not, for the whispers of our conscience? NPR 3415 Seek after truth, for it is the greatest of things man can understand. God is beyond his comprehension, but truth is not. It alone is the path towards the fulfillment of the destiny of man. Progress through life is the unveiling of truth, but can man ever stand in her august presence? As the owl is blinded in the splendor of the sun, so will man be dazzled before the unveiled face of majestic truth. NPR 3416 Truth is oft times veiled with deceit or tainted with the foul touch of hypocrisy. Truth without honesty is a tree without leaves. A distorted truth has a visage, more frightening than any other conceivable horror, and even the innocent heart quails before it. NPR 3417 O majestic truth, what wickedness is wrought in your fair name? What pain you suffer at the mouths of hypocrites and deceivers, where so often a fragment of truth is built into the fabric of a great falsehood? Conscience is what I am referring to when I mention God is talking to us. It tells us what right and wrong is. We have free will, and if your conscience tells you something that will deny you what you want, you will be desperate to find a path that will deceive you into believing you are doing it to help others. It is a lie. Many times in these types of books, you will hear the lament that Humanity is a rebellious child. I think this is what it is referring to. We do not like looking at ourselves to see our major flaw. Is an unwillingness to see the truth.